Welcome to the newest edition of the MoShape Minute, brought to you by the Missouri Society of Health and Physical Educators. The MoShape Minute is powered by Heart Zones. Heart Zones is on a lifelong mission to get the world fit by engaging and motivating everyone with their three-part formula, consisting of technology, methodology, and training. Now, here is your host, MoShape board member, Chris Staley. Hello, how's it going? Thank you to my favorite person out of New Jersey, Dina, for the marvelous introduction. I am Chris Daly, and I am joined by a very special guest. And I'm going to go ahead and bring him on right away, John Scanlon. John, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Chris. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. I, I'm, I'm so excited that you're able to join the show today. Um, we have a couple of announcements to make by the end of the show. And so we're going to go ahead and get rolling. I want to let our guests know who you are for those that do not know who you are. So first and foremost, can you share with the audience, uh, what is your role with the Mo Shape Board of Directors? Absolutely. Uh, so my role with the Board of Directors is I'm Mo Shape Future Professional President. Uh, obviously last year, President-elect, now I've assumed the role of President. And really what I do is I'll bring feedback to the board and just serve our future professional members within Mo Shape. Yeah, and so uh, we talked a little bit about this before the show. You know, it's a huge opportunity for you, not only for your personal uh, well-being when it comes to looking for jobs and stuff in the future, but also you're going to be able to be helpful for a lot of our future professionals. And that's really, really what you and I, when we were talking, you really are focused on doing what you can do best for the future professionals all around the whole state. So um, with that being said, obviously you're part of Mo Shape. So you're obviously majoring in the, our uh, career field. So can you share with the audience, why did you choose physical education as your major? Right. So um, I'm from Rogersville, Missouri, uh, you know, about 10, 15 minutes from Springfield. So really when I first came out of high school, I had no, I don't want to say no interest, but didn't even think about like PE as a major. Uh, like one of my main interests was like movies. <laughs> so I almost went to Evangel University, but I chose Missouri State and I went in as like a, a mass media film production major. Uh, did that for like a semester, couldn't really vibe with it. So after that, I went and did marketing because when I was like 18, 19 then, um, and I was a manager over at Hollister in the mall, and that kind of was like, all right, well, if I can perform well at this job, I'll go do this marketing thing. Did that for like a year and a half, and I just didn't study, didn't do any of that, so really just bad grades all around. Um, and for a brief moment, after I changed to marketing, I changed to human resource management. And I mean, that was just as boring. And I got to the point where my GPA was so low and I just like really didn't want to do college anymore. And that's, that's when I give a huge shout out to my mom. And she's like pretty much telling me like, you know, you, you love football, you love sports, stuff like that. Like, why don't, why don't you be a coach? Uh, so, you know, she piqued my interest on that and we looked into it. And she essentially assumed the, the role of like my advisor just for that night when I was really ready to just leave college, be done with it, go work full time. Like, you know, a lot of people do that. And here I am a couple years later and, you know, love it. So it's, it's, it's interesting because you and I kind of talked before the show as well that uh, I didn't know what I wanted to do. You know, I, uh, had some opportunities to be a collegiate athlete and that uh, just didn't work out with me due to other things outside of the sport. And then, uh, so I decided, you know, let's, let's transfer to this community college. Let's uh, get my gen eds done and then figure it out. And I thought, Oh, I wanted to be a broad. I wanted to do broadcasting, which now look, I kind of get to do that, but I want to do broadcast journalism because I wanted just to be a sports commentator. And then I realized wait, I have to write papers in these classes. I just want to talk. And so then yeah. I decided, you know, I wanted to get into the 
like the health field. So I uh, originally thought about exercise science and then I realized, you know, kind of same situation as you. I had family members saying, hey, you love sports, you love coaching because I was coaching youth sports, you know, in my community. And that's when I realized, OK, I've already taken some of these physical education classes for exercise science. And then I started taking actual physical education courses. And that's when I found my passion as well. So that's really cool that you have a, a journey that you kind of circled around. It took you a while to figure it out, but at the end of the day, you found your passion and now here you are. So that's, that's really cool. Thank you for sharing that story because, uh, and, you know, we talk about, it's, it's incredible that, you know, you were talking about even the GPA, uh, situation we see all the time as as a teacher i see students whose gpas aren't the best maybe overall but they do really well in their math class or their band class or something because of their passion so that's that proves like you know if if, if my gpa is bad maybe it's because i'm just not passionate about it and now you found it and now look you're uh you're leading all our future <laughs> professionals so that's uh that's really cool so i'm happy for you with that john so um, with your role as future professional president, let's uh, kind of shift back to that. Can you share with the audience, what is your goal? You can share a couple goals as uh, our current future professional president. Absolutely. Um, so really my main goal is I want to get our future professionals connected with current professionals, uh, I mean, teachers working in the field today. Uh, I just feel like maybe some may have the stigma of, Oh, I'm going to go back to my hometown and maybe you're not going to get the best job out of that. Or maybe some future professionals are scared of, you know, going to different schools that they're not used to. Um, and really, I just want to make sure that, A, they're going to have more opportunities for doing that and the fact that they'll be comfortable with that. Um, and I kind of uh, another goal of mine is uh, we've changed a little bit of the election process. And I'll talk more about that um, tomorrow. Um, and we'll talk about that later in this podcast, uh, you know, with that election process to where it's unbiased uh, and it's not just, you know, one school, one couple people. Uh, so so really, it's just the, the connectedness with everything. And just I want to also another goal is that I want to get as many future professionals participating as possible. Uh, last last year, we kind of had, you know, we ran into some issues with that. Um, you know, COVID played a part, you know, people, uh, our future professional members, I feel like maybe not motivated to, you know, show up to town halls and stuff, but hopefully, you know, goal of mine is to up those numbers and up that participation. Yeah. So, uh, your goals are great. You know, I, I, I talked also before the show about what it was like for me being a future professional. I went three times as a future professional, which a lot of times doesn't happen. And uh, a lot of times they start going their junior, senior year towards the end of their uh, collegiate career. And, um, you know, we've talked about getting people, more people involved and connected. And that's one thing I can tell future professionals. You learn some great activities and stuff while you're at Mo Shape, but also just the networking you can develop at Mo Shape at the convention. And just even now outside the convention, you know, uh, myself and some board members have recently talked. We're no longer a society where we're just convention driven. We've got all these shows we put out weekly. We uh, have all the resources we send out through our social media channels. So being able to connect is easier now than ever. And uh, obviously you mentioned something is happening tomorrow. And so go ahead and uh, tell us. So, John, what is happening tomorrow, April 6th? Hey, smooth transition, Chris. Um, <laughs> yeah. So. So tomorrow, I'm going to be hosting a town hall meeting for future professionals. Uh, I believe some board members will show up. Uh, some university professor, uh, university professors will be showing up as well. Um, I like to announce that we have Shape America CEO Stephanie Morris is going to be speaking in that meeting. Uh, Chris, you'll have a little bit of time. I believe our uh, executive director Tom Lowry is going to be speaking. I will be speaking. Um, pretty much. I'm going to go over uh, certain, like, you know, my goals and, and plans in particular for future, uh, future professionals. Pretty much it. And we'll do we'll do some fun icebreakers, too. We're going to have a little fun. It's not going to be all boring talk. <laughs> you know, we, we talked about uh, a little bit, you, you mentioned in your previous answer as well, as uh, the lack of 
maybe motivation with the town hall meetings in the past with COVID and college students are burnt out, you know, from the Zoom meetings and all that. And luckily now a lot of colleges are starting to allow uh, face-to-face interaction, if not all of them in the state of Missouri. I'm not 100% sure uh, how that works, but I will tell you, John, you've, uh, you have a big challenge. You, you, you know, we, we knew this, we talked at board meetings of, okay, I'm taking over this future professional presidency in the middle of a pandemic where everything is virtual and, not only are you know students of like mine burnt out but college students as well and so um but i think you're going to do a great job i'm really excited for that town hall meeting tomorrow because like you said i'm i will be able to speak a little bit to our future professionals about how to connect with our current professionals working out in the state of missouri now they don't you know we we don't have to wait till november anymore we we can connect right now and uh i'm really excited to be part of that town hall meeting tomorrow i think it's going to be great and uh john thank you so much for joining the show i uh you're doing great things man and uh just continue doing what you're doing and uh we're, we're we're gonna we're gonna work on this uh together we're we're one thing i can say about mo shapes board i've i've been part of a lot of organizations uh multiple school districts and all those things and this board is really good at working together and once once one person has a plan all of the board members jump on board and say hey let's let's do this together and uh you've been very vocal about what you want and uh, your goals are your goals are great and i think you know we're we're, we're hoping um, we're we're really hoping that in November we're face to face with our convention and we're able to bring in uh, a lot of future professionals into the uh, conference and just show them what not only just quality physical education and health education is, but what it's just like to be in this community of amazing people. So, uh, John, tomorrow I'm excited. Uh, we'll be at that town hall meeting. Can you tell me what time that starts again? Uh, so it's going to start at seven o'clock, Chris. And I'm going to try and get it done within an hour. Uh, I got things planned from 7 to 8. So I think I think it's a good time frame, good time to start for those college kids. And one quick thing, too. Uh, I know you talked about that that burnout stuff. You know, I, I can relate to it, you know. <laughs> I, I take on a lot of my plate, and I'll get, I'll get burned out, you know. So, but, you know, sometimes you got to, you know, when you face adversity, you just got to prevail through it. So, that that's that's what makes a quality teacher right there is just uh adapt and overcome so john thank you so much for joining me today i will be seeing you tomorrow and to all of our followers do not forget our health moves minds committee has recently made a new twitter and instagram you can follow them at mo shape the number one underscore hmm i am chris staley thank you for watching and have a great week